It comes as no surprise that Queens College graduates, faculty, staff, and students have contributed immensely to the borough, city, and state. The impact of Queens College, however, reaches far beyond the borders of the state of New York. This includes many gifts to the world, breakthrough discoveries, innovative inventions, life-changing achievements that have enriched countless lives, and world-class entertainment that lifts spirits and culture to new heights. In our second video in this series, we will highlight Queens College gifts to the world in the field of entertainment. Seinfeld, famously described as the television show about nothing, is considered by many as the greatest sitcom of all time. Its relatable humor and memorable characters consistently made it one of the top rated TV shows. Idiot! More than 35 years later, yada, yada, yada. it is still heavily influencing popular culture. Many terms that were coined in the show are just as prevalent today. It remains in syndication on multiple networks and is one of the most streamed TV shows on Netflix each year. Jerry Seinfeld earned a communications degree in 1976 from Queens College. I didn't think I had talent. There was one kid in, at Queens College. We would go watch comedians at the clubs, catch a rising star in the improv. And one kid said to me, I, I bet you you could do that. Three of the most influential musicians of the 20th century all got their start at Queens College. Paul Simon, Queens College class of 1963, has been impacting popular culture for more than 60 years. He has given the world multiple classic songs, such as Mrs. Robinson, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Kodachrome, and You Can Call Me Al. Two of his works, Graceland and The Sound of Silence, are included in the National Recording Registry for their national significance. He has twice been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and he won 16 Grammy Awards, including three for Album of the Year. Paul Simon was a pioneer in the American folk scene, performing together with his childhood friend from Queens, Art Garfunkel. The duo was among the first to use electric instruments and studio effects in music. Later, as a solo artist, Simon went on to produce 12 studio albums and sell more than 27 million albums worldwide. The writer of 118 songs on the Billboard Top 100, Carol King, who attended Queens College, is one of the most successful songwriters of all time. Her numerous hit songs shaped pop music throughout the 1960s and 70s, and she has remained active as a songwriter into the 21st century. Among her most famous songs include It's Too Late, which spent 16 weeks atop the Billboard charts, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, and You've Got a Friend. She made 25 solo albums, sold more than 75 million copies of her records, won four Grammy Awards, and was inducted into the Songwriters and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. While attending Queens College, Carol King met her first husband, Jerry Goffin, with whom she co-wrote many of her early hit songs. The contributions of famed composer Marvin Hamlish, Queens College class of 1967, include some of the most famous scores in film and on Broadway, such as The Way We Were, The Chorus Line, The Sting, and Sophie's Choice, to name just a few. He was the composer of some of the most well-known songs ever cut by Barbara Streisand and Leslie Gore, among many others. He is one of only two people to win an Emmy, Oscar, Grammy, Tony, and a Pulitzer Prize. Since 2019, the Marvin Hamlish International Music Awards, in partnership with Queens College, have recognized and discovered emerging composers from around the world, helping to usher in the next generation of outstanding composers. For more than 30 years, John Favreau has appeared in or directed some of the most iconic movies and television shows of this generation. After attending Queens College, he went on to pursue a career in comedy. A few years later, he wrote and starred in his breakout hit, Swingers, and appeared in major TV shows and movies in the 90s, such as Friends, Seinfeld, and Deep Impact. But it is his work as a director that has had the greatest influence on popular worldwide culture. 
Favreau has been significantly involved in the movies of Marvel Cinematic Universe, the highest grossing film franchise of all time, which has earned more than $37.3 billion. He directed, produced, and appeared in Iron Man and Iron Man 2, and served as executive producer or appeared in The Avengers movies, Spider-Man movies, and Deadpool and Wolverine. Favreau also directed the Christmas classic Elf and remakes of The Jungle Book and Lion King. More recently, Favreau worked with the Star Wars franchise, creating the Disney Plus smash hit The Mandalorian, while serving as an executive producer on The Book of Boba Fett and Ashoka. His work has brought joy and entertainment to millions of people all over the world. For anyone who ever enjoyed playing Super Mario Brothers on an old Nintendo, Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Genesis, or any classic video game at home, then you have Queens College alumnus Gerald Lawson to thank. Lawson was an engineer and game designer who helped develop Fairchild Channel F the first video game console that featured interchangeable game cartridges, a joystick, and a pause menu when it was released for commercial sale in 1976. Gerald Lawson's innovation allowed people to play a variety of video games in their homes and paved the way for the much more elaborate systems we have today. Invented in 1964 by alumnus Robert Moog, class of 1955, the Moog synthesizer forever changed the course of music. It was created in response to the demand to have more practical and affordable electronic music equipment. When completed, it offered a seemingly limitless combination of tones. From there, the invention grew rapidly in popularity, first being used for jingles and or soundtracks, then going mainstream, where it was used in recordings from such prominent artists as the Grateful Dead, the Rolling Stones, Donna Summer, and the Beatles. In later decades, hip-hop artists, including the Beastie Boys and Dr. Dre, utilized the Moog synthesizer for some of the most famous songs, and variations are still being used by musicians around the world today. These are just a few examples of awesome achievements by Queens College alumni that have benefited hundreds of millions of people around the world. And within today's college community, our students, faculty, staff, and alumni aspiring to bring forward their gifts to the world. This enduring legacy keeps alive the spirit of Queens College's motto, Decimos ut serviamos. We learn so that we may serve.